Okay, so this video is Crochet Pathologies Part 1 and it's about the beginnings and ends of rows where you can run into some common problems. So this is a row of half double crochet worked into um, a, a foundation chain. What I've done is I've worked into the third chain from the hook and then uh, done a series of double crochets all the way across and I want to do the final few into the last um, the last loops in the foundation chain. So what I should be ha have at the end of all this is 30 stitches uh, long. So I'll do these last two. Now what a common problem is not to know what to do with the last bit of your um, chain because it can get a little bit tight um, and should you work into this last bit of it. But actually if you've got done exactly the right number of foundation chains then you can work into this one fairly easily. I tend not to go into the back loop because it makes it it's a bit tight generally, a bit more difficult. I just pick up whichever one I can find and work it in. There we go. And work it as I would do normally. So if I got this right, I should have 30 stitches along. So to count it's always a good idea at the beginning of any project to make sure you have in fact got the right number of stitches because particularly if you're doing a pattern it could be a bit more of a problem so I tend to count these three stitches at the top so that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight thirty and actually I've got an extra stitch at the end here because I would work into this one generally and I'll show you why in the next row. So actually I've got too many so I just ripped that one back. Because it's into the foundation chain that doesn't really matter it's fairly easy to rip that one back although you need to be a little bit careful when you do it so I just leave it there. So if you're in if in doubt do too many foundation chains and then um, you can always rip them back at the end it won't make any difference. So the beginning of the next row it's a double it's a half double crochet so I want to go and my turning chain should be two chains long. So I do two chains and then turn fabric round and then working back into this again. Now I find that it makes a neater finish if you work into this first stitch. Many patterns will tell you to skip that first stitch and that the turning chain acts like a first stitch but I, I just find it a little bit um, makes it a little bit gappy and so I always work into that first stitch And that counts as my first stitch. So I don't count the turning chain as my first stitch. And when I come to work into it, can I work into that nice clean V at the beginning there? And again, work all the way along to the end. By the end of that, you should have um, 30 stitches. 